Alwyn Jones, 22, and George Taylor, 37, died when a bomb it is believed they intended to plant near a railway line carrying the prince in 1969, exploded prematurely. The men were described as members of extremist group Mutiate Amdafin Simru, Mac, in North Wales, and were dubbed the Aboriginal Martyrs. It is thought they were planning to stop the royal train passing on its way to Carnarfon, Wales, but it exploded prematurely at a building site which later became Aboriginal Library. Now locals claim a poster has been put up at the library describing how they are remembered annually with photos of floral tributes. An outraged local city thought it looked like a tribute and accused the library of celebrating terrorists. The library has apologized and said the display was part of the library's 50th anniversary celebrations. A 58-year-old local who did not wish to be named, said, it's right by the till it's not as if it's hidden. There's no missing it. I asked the librarian behind the desk if they thought it was acceptable, and she just giggled. I took the pictures and left it as that. It's just the sheer flippancy of it all. It's not as if they were just messing about with the explosives for the sake of it. These two tried to blow up the future king, they were carrying those explosives either in the hope of blowing up the track so he wouldn't make it here, or to blow up the train when it arrived. Children use that library. You wouldn't find a poster about recent terrorists. I don't see how this should be any different. It's just incredibly naughty of the library to put that up. The poster was put up by Aboriginal Library earlier this month as part of the library's 50th anniversary. The 1 meter x 0.5 meters poster reads, On June 1969 Alwyn Jones and George Taylor, the Aboriginal martyrs, were accidentally killed when the explosive materials they were transporting exploded. They are remembered annually. A spokesman for Aboriginal Library said, The library has put up a number of posters documenting events which happened in 1969 as that is when it opened. It is not the only poster we have on display. We have famous figures from the political world, famous films, posters on fashion and books. A spokesman for Conwy Library Service added, earlier this month, Aboriginal Library celebrated its 50th anniversary. As part of the activities and events to mark the occasion, local and national news stories from newspaper cuttings and books from the time the library opened were collated for a number of 1969 information boards. We're sorry if anyone was offended by any of the content, that certainly wasn't the intention. Jones and Taylor are believed to have been planning to plant a bomb near a railway line in Aboriginal which was carrying the prince to his investiture at Carnarfon Castle on July 1, 1969. The pair were killed after the bomb exploded prematurely on a building site, which later became Aboriginal Library. An inquest into their deaths later that year gave verdicts of accidental deaths. Bomb maker John Jenkins, who was reportedly the only contact between Jones and Taylor, was jailed for 10 years in 1970. He pleaded guilty to eight charges relating to explosives and conspiracy and in an interview reportedly said, I've made it clear all along that there was no threat to the prince at all. Our priorities were about hearts and minds and awakening national consciousness in this would hardly have been helped by targeting people at any stage. 
In 2009 a march arranged to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the deaths caused controversy 